In today's video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of options to either create or source a starting soon screen for your live streams. Stick around. G'day, Doug from Doug Houston YouTube. And today, as I said, we're doing a countdown screen or a start soon screen. And I'm gonna show you how to do it specifically for StreamYard, but the videos that you create or source can be used in any streaming software, whether it be OBS, Streamlabs OBS, some of your mobile services, uh, and even Ecamm Live, you name it, vMix, whatever you use, Wirecast, I'm just rattling off heaps of softwares right now. But regardless, <laughs> you can use it in your streams. Well, what is a starting soon screen or a countdown screen? It simply is something that plays just before you actually go live you hit the go live button uh, on your streaming software. You don't appear straight away, it's just a screen that shows some information, maybe even a countdown down to when you're about to actually go live yourself on, the, on camera. It just allows people a, a minute or two to come into the live stream because they're getting notifications for YouTube or Facebook or however, whatever platform you're on and they're gonna be coming in and you wanna give them a, a, about a minute or two to get in there before you start the show. You don't want that to be too long and, you, and maybe you don't want it to be too short. Some people don't use them at all, which is fine, but if it's something that'll be useful to you to help bring people in and help calm the nerves a bit and just count you down to go time, then this is a perfect thing for you. Now this video is gonna be in two parts. The first part is how to source or make your own starting soon screen or countdown clock. And the second part, I'm gonna show you how to specifically bring it into StreamYard and how to use it on StreamYard specifically. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of creating or sourcing your own starting soon screen. The first option I have for you today is sourcing a pre-made countdown clock. Now you can do that by searching the web of internet. And this is what I did. I was searching the internet for you guys to find something I could recommend. And there's really only one that I could actually recommend that I could actually find that was even half decent. And that is uh, from Livestream Pros. Livestream Pros have got some really professional countdown clock overlays that you can use for your live stream. You can see it on the screen right now. Lots of different colors and options. Lots of, very, it looks very modern, looks very crisp. Countdowns from a, a very high number. I can't remember exactly how far, but I think you can do up to 30 minutes on some of these ones. So go check them out. The link is in the description below. This is not an affiliate link. This is not uh, sponsored at all. This is just the only thing I found that I could seriously recommend to you this half decent. The only other option for buying something pre-made is actually the sort of, it's not really pre-made because you'd be asking someone on say Fiverr or some similar site to make something for you. And that could be hit, that could be miss. So when you're doing something, if you go down that route, buyer beware. Second option is to get something that's slightly customized that you can do on the internet where you can go and customize yourself, your own little uh, starting screen. Now I put something together myself using this method on a site called Placeit. Link in the description below for this as well. Uh, this one is an affiliate link, so if you do uh, follow it, there is a cost, of course, to uh, go on and make one of these options. Now, I'm showing you some highlights on the screen right now of me making a starting screen. There are options where you can have a short countdown, and there are options where you can just put some screens together, and I'm gonna play that for you, um, a little test one that I did for you that goes for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna uh, play it in the corner. Let's play it in the corner. So in place it, they have templated uh, systems. You can go in and just adjust colors. You can adjust text. You can add, add, add images. You can change images. And they do like a slideshow format uh, to put together these videos. So you can add extra pages. You can take away pages. Some have uh, built-in countdowns, some do not. So it just depends on what you're looking for. There's a very high level of customization there, but it is still a templated service. So if that's something you wanna have a crack at, then use Placeit. Check the link in the description. Now the final way 
and the one that is more do it yourself is to actually create a countdown clock in your video editing software. Now I'm using Final Cut Pro, but you can use any video software really. So basically you wanna make a bunch of text uh, options that are from whatever you wanna start. Say for me, I started at one minute and I wanna count down to zero. So my first one second of, of my video is 1.00. And then the next one is dot five nine and dot five eight and dot five seven. So basically, I'm creating all these different text files, putting them together in a sequence. They're all exactly one second long. So once we play it at the end, it ex runs for exactly one minute. And so you can see in the playback now that we've got a countdown clock that we can export. Now when I export this file or bumping out the file, you could say. Uh, we're gonna uh, do that in a way that makes it transparent. So then we can bring that back in as a finished video file that can just overlay uh, whether you use a um, chroma key or whether your computer will natively do it, depending on what video software you've got, of course. You're gonna output that uh, as a transparent MOV file. And if you can, and if your software does it, do that. In Final Cut Pro, I export it as a ProRes 4444 file, which makes everything in the background transparent and just anything that's appearing on image is all that's showing up. So when I bring this countdown clock file back in to put it on my finished project, you will see that it instantly uh, just overlays. I don't have to apply a chroma key or anything. So that is an awesome thing to have happen. So uh, final stage is to add that, that countdown element to the rest of your starting video. And then once you've got your starting video done, because your starting video can be anything, it's like editing a video for YouTube, it's like a pre-made video, so you can put together clips that you've recorded, you can put graphics together, you can have little animations happening, however you wanna do it, let your creativity flow. Okay, what we're gonna do now is show you how to bring that in the StreamYard and use it as a starting screen. So the first thing you need to do is already be in StreamYard, which you can see that I am here by looking at the screen right now. You can see oh, I can be added to the stream anytime. Let's just leave that off for now. First, you wanna navigate over to brand over here and then come down to video clips. You need to make sure that your video conforms to uh, these things. It needs to be under five minutes. It needs to be maximum file size, 100 megabytes. And the recommended size is obviously a 720p file, but you can upload a bigger one if you want, but it still has to fit that 100 megabyte uh, file limit at the moment. So we're gonna click upload, and then we're gonna go and navigate and find my file that I have created for this specific purpose. And we just give it a second to upload because it's got to upload a video file. You can see that it's thinking about that now. And what we'll do is we'll give that a moment. And then once we're there, I'm gonna hit uh, record in StreamYard to mimic the fact that I am going live and then show you how to put that together. So uh, basically, we're gonna record a file and I'm gonna show you both the recorded file and the file of me looking at StreamYard. So uh, Inception, yes, here we go. Because <laughs> basically I wanna start with myself off the screen. When we start the stream, we don't want any anything happening there. So we wanna basically have a screen that we start with. Okay, I'm gonna hit the record up the top left, which mimics the same process as if I was going live. So start recording and record. So this is basically recording out on the StreamYard servers to say that we're going, you can see we're live. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the video. And you can see right now, the countdown clock is counting down. and any audio of course that's on the video will play you can hear uh, on the playback option that's going out to uh, StreamYard and to YouTube or whatever I'm going you see I'm counting down now what I can do whilst this is counting down because once we hit zero and the video ends we want to be live on me so what I want to do is firstly add me to the screen yes that is Nick Nimmin now I've been added to the screen. You can see down the bottom here, I've added myself to the screen. You can't see me, but in about 12 seconds, I'm gonna appear. 
And so I'm going to get ready to go. The video is going to hit zero. And then I can go straight to bringing up my regular overlay. Coming back to me, there I am live and bringing up my overlay. And here we are, we're live and the show has started. I'm talking to the web camera. I'm talking to you. We're, I've got video, I've got stuff recording everywhere here. But here we are, we're live. We've, we've successfully uploaded and brought the uh, video in at the beginning of our stream. The process was, we made sure the video was uploaded. We uh, made sure that we were off the screen, we were on the, on the plane start screen. We hit go live. We went live, we played the video, we let the video play. While the video is playing, we enable our camera so that once the video ends, it's gonna see us. And then, as soon as the video ends, it cuts to us live, whoever whoever's live on your stream at the time, it's gonna cut to them, and then you can go about your stream as normal from that point on. That's how it works. So I'm gonna end broadcast here on StreamYard because this is still recording, and we'll hit the process for you. Is the countdown clock something you'd use in StreamYard or whatever software you might happen to stream with? Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you're interested in if that's something that you would ever use or whether you'd give a starting screen or a countdown clock a hard pass. If you're looking for something more to watch, I've got more StreamYard content here in this playlist. Or there's something else that YouTube thought you might like to watch that you have probably haven't watched before. So why not check it out? This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube and I'll catch you later.